Are you tired of acne scar treatments that don't work? I know I am. Unfortunately, the internet is full of misleading advice on acne scars. There is no all-in-one solution for acne scars, because it all depends on the type of scars you have. Acne scars are caused by chronic inflammation during acne. The most severe types of acne, cystic and nodular, tend to leave behind the worst acne scars. That's why it's important to get active acne under control to prevent future scarring. Let's have a look at the different scar types, they can be pitted, raised or hyperpigmentation. 1. Atrophic scars or pitted scars. These scars are usually caused by a loss of collagen following chronic inflammatory acne. Collagen is an important material that supports the overall structure of your skin. These scars include Ice pick scars, which are small narrow holes in the skin like ice pick punctures. Boxcar scars or indentations with borders, like a fingernail pressed into the skin. Rolling scars, which are depressions with no borders, like waves or ripples. Tethered scars have fibrous bands underneath the scar that pull down on it. 2. Raised scars. If your body produces too much collagen, acne scars can end up elevated. Raised scars are thick, lumpy, and may feel itchy. These scars include, hypertrophic scars which are raised, red, bumpy and may recede on their own. Keloids, which are raised, red to purple, itchy and tend to grow larger over time. 3. Hyperpigmentation. Dark spots are another side effect of acne and often go away on their own. Also known as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation PIH, these dark spots are caused by excess melanin. 5 methods that actually work for acne scars. 1. TCA cross. For ice pick scars, especially deep ones, the best treatment is TCA cross. This is done by a dermatologist, who apply a high concentration of TCA to the base of your ice pick scar. The chemical solution burns away scar tissue and triggers collagen growth to rebuild healthy skin. 2. Microneedling. For pitted scars like box scar and rolling scars, microneedling is a safe and effective option that can be done at home or by a professional. The idea is to stimulate collagen remodeling by creating micro wounds in your skin. The tool of choice can be a derma roller with dozens of tiny needles, a derma stamp for areas that are harder to reach, or a professional derma pen, electric powered. 3. Subcision. Subcision is an excellent scar treatment that is best suited for tethered scars. Your dermatologist will insert a special needle beneath your skin to manually break the fibrotic strands. This releases the tension holding the scar down and allows the skin to heal normally. 4. Silicone gels and sheets. Works for raised scars such as hypertrophic scars and keloids. They are easy to apply, dry quickly, and effective at minimizing scars. All you need to do is apply the silicone gel or sheet onto your scar at least twice a day. 5. Corticosteroid Injections. For more severe scars, keloids and major hypertrophic scars, you may want to consider corticosteroid injections. Your dermatologist will inject a solution of triamcinolone, the corticosteroid. Researchers believe corticosteroids have strong anti-inflammatory properties that reduce overactive collagen production, thus being able to flatten raised scars. 5 Things to Avoid for Acne Scars As a rule of thumb for any scar treatment, you should ask yourself, does this treatment influence collagen in some way? For atrophic scars, you want to stimulate collagen production to fill in scar cavities. For raised scars, you want to reduce collagen levels to flatten scar tissue. 1. Baking soda. Baking soda is basic, pH of 8.3, and raises the overall pH of your skin. This neutralizes the acid mantle and makes it easier for bacteria and fungi to survive, which can lead to acne breakouts and fungal infections. For some people, baking soda also triggers skin reactions such as rashes, redness, and burning. In short, there's no reason to use baking soda on your skin, let alone for acne scars. 2. Lemon Juice. Lemon juice is another popular recommendation for acne scars. The claim is that lemon improves scars using alpha-hydroxy acids like citric acid and skin brighteners like ascorbic acid, vitamin C, and niacin. However, the concentration of these ingredients tends to be very low in lemons. 
Research does show that vitamin C can help with hyperpigmentation and even collagen production. But you'll need to use vitamin C serums with higher concentrations of ascorbic acid 5 to, 15 to obtain these benefits. Lemon is also very acidic and lowers your overall skin pH, which may cause skin irritation, hyperpigmentation, and increased sun sensitivity. 3. Tea Tree Oil While tea tree oil can accelerate wound healing, there is no clinical evidence yet that it works on acne scars or influences collagen production. 4. Aloe Vera Aloe Vera has anti-inflammatory properties that help calm your skin whenever it gets irritated. It might also increase collagen synthesis through a compound called glucomannan. But before any clinical studies are done on the subject, it is impossible to draw any conclusions on this. 5. Coconut Oil This is another controversial ingredient when it comes to scar treatment. Researchers have long believed that the answer lies in coconut oil's high vitamin E content. However, studies on vitamin E for scars have so far proved inconclusive. Half the battle of finding effective scar treatments is separating facts from fiction. So start by identifying the type of scar tissue you have, to know if you should look for a method that will increase your collagen production or one that will decrease an overactive collagen production. To find out more about acne scars and acne, head to acneinstein.com or thedermdetective.com.